Okay guys, I'm back. Um, ooh, I've got the lights. I'll put on some lights. Um, I am going to be doing not the, um, the silicone one, but the uh, pouring from high up here and spinning this thing really fast. Like that, and then pouring from up here. Someone asked me to do that. But first I have to take off my shoes because I just came from a birthday party and I don't want to get my shoes all covered in paint. So I'll take off the shoes like that. And uh, I don't mind if my socks get covered in paint. They're not that expensive. I can buy new ones, but don't want my shoes because they're sweat and I don't want that so um, I have the colors mixed as you can see over here and people wanted to know which colors I'm using it's the uh, leftover from the beach the beach painting so it's that um, that beige color that I mixed myself so it's something like white and brown and yellow and then I have the Van Dyke brown again and the Van Dyke brown just make it a little warmer with um, a, a little bit of uh, red and uh, orange and you could put yellow in so this was the leftover paint from the beach it's not totally white it has a um, sort of a little bit of a light blue hue over it so that's okay then I have the three colors of turquoise and I have to add some silicone because I'm not sure it's been standing here for a couple of hours so maybe it needs some more and this is the silicone because last Last video someone said, you're being sneaky about not showing the silicone. I always show the silicone. Don't know what he was going on about, he or she. So just a little bit in there, all colors. I put a little bit more in this one because there's a lot of paint in here. And only one short spurt in the other ones because it's about like say an eighth of a cup no, maybe a little bit more. So the old silicone is in there. Give it a little stir. And I'm hoping that most of the paint stays here because I don't have the plastic on the floor. But we'll see how it, uh, how it works out. And something else I was going to talk about because, guys... I don't know if you check on my channel, but I'm getting a lot of uh, people subscribing and I'm going getting close to 2,300 people and I'm getting a lot of questions after I post um, a video and if any one of you sees a question and I haven't answered it yet and you want to jump in and answer, please be my guest. I wouldn't mind that. And... Um, Although it wouldn't be mix mix up some be some mix up because I don't see the uh, the answers. Oh, it doesn't matter. If you see anything you want to answer, you can answer. And um, please don't don't feel um, you know like I do, I'm not answering you right away because sometimes you know I get so many, and um, it takes me uh, quite a while to get uh, through them all. And you could say, well, Anne Marie, why do you bother? But I I can't. I can't not answer someone, I don't know, it's something in my head. Someone asks ask a question, I want to answer them. Maybe deep down inside I was always um, supposed to be a teacher, who knows. Um, no, I don't think so. If you were to ask me what would you want to be if you did not do what you do now, I'd want to be, okay, wait for it, Judge Judy. <laughs> I bet you're, some of you are laughing now 
some won't even know who Judge Judy is, but most of you do. And I just love her, really love her. Uh, I always watch her, always. No matter what I have going on, I'll go back and uh, I have the, you know, one of those boxes, set, set boxes, where you can go back and watch stuff. So I always watch her. Okay. I think we're uh, about ready to uh, to do this. I put a little bit of sticky tape under this uh, canvas just to keep it a little bit in place because I was thinking if I'm doing really fast spinning and the canvas flips off the, the turntable thingy, that would not look good. So, have I told you everything I put in here? Yes, I have. Uh, the colors, the um, uh, turquoise, uh, again, uh, of course, my favorite color, the 661. Um, the turquoise blue. Whoops. The 522. Two. There's a lot of that in there. And then the Van Dyke brown I already told you about. The white one is the uh, titanium white, the 105. And that's about it. So, the request on YouTube was pour up high, let the paint... Well, she was talking about three, three foot, but I can't because that's where the iPad is. Can't get up that eye and then you can't see anything. So I'll have to pour out of the other hand. Let, let me try this out. Yeah, I can do that. So, well... The height I'll be pouring from is about two feet, two and a half tops. So first I'm putting in the light color because there's a lot of titanium white in there. Then I want straight away, I want some really nice dark brown. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm pouring from pretty far up right now, making this dirty, dirty pour. Because I still think that if you do that, you pour from a certain height, it mixes in the cup already. And it does. You can see it do really funny stuff. And this one again. And some dark. And I didn't put any um, any other colors in here. I thought, you know, just for once, do a nice, quiet painting. So I hope it's going to work out. And I think I have enough. Maybe just a little more white. I think that's enough. Okay, so this is going to be... Um, uh, okay. Let's do it. Whoops, I had to get it there because it was going all over the place again. But I am liking it. Oops, turntable. Get that out of the way. Only I don't like the middle. Right away. See how it... Ugh. I gotta figure out something that it doesn't do that. And I hate this uh, tilting. Mm, I'm not liking that. So let me just keep it on one direction so maybe it'll straighten out this middle piece here. But I'm thinking of something else about mixing the rest of the paint. Because I do like the bottom bottom half and the side, but I'm not really fond of everything that's going on here. So let's see if we can fix this. I do like those colors together though. And 
funny thing is I don't see any brown at all. Okay. I think I fixed it. I want some more calm pieces in there. Not all that zigzaggy stuff. Okay, come on, drip, drip, drip. Drip down there. Sometimes I just have to help it a little bit. Bang it on the table. Okay, what do you think? I think it would be better if it came down a bit from there. Let's see if it's coming down. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay. Now, the torchy bit. That is pretty. There's some brown peeking through. How many people are screaming right now? Stop, stop, stop. I don't know. Um, see, I want to torch everything, but if this is nice and this is nice, so maybe I shouldn't. Just keep it like that, but that's, that's amazing. That little bit down there where the brown is peeking through, I really like that. And I have to um, do the sides a little bit. Uh, some people ask me, you know, um, about the pellet knives. And I really think, you know, you have to have, if you're doing this, you have to have a pellet knife. Because it's so easy to put the paint on the sides. You can just really pick up your drop off and just put it on there. I hope I'm holding it so you all can see something. Yeah. Because, you know, you can do this with a brush, and I do sometimes, but if you're doing it with a pellet knife, um, you keep the patterns in the paint a little bit better, if you know what I mean. Let me see if I got, oh yeah, there it is. So you keep the patterns and then you can just put it on the, on the corner and it'll just come down. But you don't want it too thick on there on the sides. Might not dry, right? Okay, so we still have this little corner left where there's no paint. I'll fix that in a minute. And a good thing for um, for myself, mental note, is that I need, absolutely need a full cup for a 30 by 30. So a real full cup of paint if I'm gonna do this again. Zip. That goes pretty fast. That's that. Then the last one. Got to keep the pretty patterns if I have any. That's okay. Oops. Okay, it's totally covered now. And there's a little bit bit of thick paint here, which I don't want. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, I like it. Yes, I'm keeping it. I'll put it down here and I'll give you a close up in a minute. I just gotta do the sides. A little torchy torchy on the sides. And I think I will put the torch just over here, just a little bit. Sorry, can't help myself. Oops, I missed the spot. It's um it's a really pretty light one. And it goes really well with the beach one. So I'll take off the gloves and I'll show you guys up close. I like it. There are some um, spots in there with no cells, so I think that's pretty. Um, let's see if you can see the sides. Even the sides are nice. Down here, oops, touching the camera, don't do that. And that one over there, this big one, that's the one I'm going to be doing for the, um, oops, <laughs> I held you up the wrong way. But I'm going to be doing this big one for the um, sports shop. And it could be a really good uh, gig because um, uh, it's an opening and all the, um, the shop owners are going to be there. And I just saw them open another shop with... You know, all the things that you can put in your house. I don't know how you call that kind of shop, but, you know, all the things you put. Pots and, and little paintings and statues and, I don't know, everything for the home. That's it, guys. I'm uh, ready again, ready to uh, clean up this mess. And as you can see, my cupboards have a lot of paint on it. The floor is okay. There's a little bit. My socks are still white. So that's good. Okay, thank you all for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.